welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and this is Jen's Happy Home. I'm really getting geared up to kick off the fall season and Halloween in particular. It's um, my favorite time of year. I just have so much fun with the kids around Halloween time. And I thought today, even though it's still September, I was trying to hold off until October to begin this, but I figured, you know what, what the heck, this is a topic that um, I think that it's okay to share a little bit early, and that is some of our favorite children's movies. We like to do a movie night once, sometimes even twice a week around Halloween, um, just because there's so many great movies and we love to watch them year after year. So I wanted to share with you um, the favorites that we've had over the years, and I'm going to start with um, movies that are appropriate for younger children and then kind of like older and then like preteen to teenage years. So I hope this is helpful to you. Bear with me, there's quite a lot and there's even more than what I have here, but I really had to narrow it down. Um, we just really love these types of movies. So I'm gonna start off with the Disney sing-along songs. Um, this is Happy Hauntings. I don't even know if you can still get these Disney sing-along DVDs. My children loved these when they were little, and this one, this was one when my daughter Madison was about two years old, we watched this year round. Like she had this going in June and July, <laughs> she had this going around Christmas time, like she just loved all of the music in this, and it's just little skits with sing-along songs, a lot of fun for small children. Okay, the next one is Pooh's Heffalump Halloween movie. And that was also a favorite when my children were younger. Everybody loves Winnie the Pooh, especially at that age. He's just such a lovable bear and not too frightening for children. There are a couple of um, parts that are like, you know, a little bit scary, obviously. It's a Halloween movie, um, but nothing out of the ordinary and a really, really great movie for young children. Okay, and then we have Spookly the Square Pumpkin. This is a really cute and sweet story about a pumpkin who has grown in the shape of a square rather than a circle like everyone else in his family and the trials and tribulations of what it's like to be square as a pumpkin. Really, really adorable storyline. This is a classic, so I have to mention it. How can you go through Halloween without watching um, it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. I mean, this is really something that it's like, it doesn't feel like it's the Halloween season until we have watched this movie. And we always uh, make a point of getting this into one of our movie nights. Then I don't know if you guys are familiar yet with um, the Disney Buddies, the group of dogs. They premiere in a lot of different movies. Um, this one is Spooky Buddies and it's a group of dogs and of course they talk and they're adorable and um, they kind of stumble upon a situation going on in a town and it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of scary but it's very, very good and um, I think definitely appropriate for small children. Okay, Alvin and the Chipmunks trick or treason and this one has several different Halloween type of stories. I love the chipmunks. It brings me back to when I was young and um, really, really, they're just cute. They crack me up. These are the older chipmunk um, episodes. I know the chipmunks recently, or I don't know how recently, but I know they have like a newer animation and this is totally old school but i love it and the stories are great and my daughter and even her friends when they have come over have always requested to watch this so i know this is definitely great for small children along that same scope the scooby-doo movies like okay first of all the scooby-doo movie if you've actually seen that um, that's wonderful for older children, but for your little ones, this, um, just like the classic Scooby-Doo cartoons, brings me back to Saturday morning cartoons, um, are really, really good. I hope that um, you're not getting too much of a glare on this that you can see it, but yeah, anything Scooby-Doo is great. This particular one is Scooby-Doo's spookiest tale, so I thought it would be the most appropriate for Halloween. <laughs> we have a visitor. 
with sweat <laughs> hair and gymnastics clothes. And <laughs> sweat hair. Yeah, and she got a haircut. Okay, so the dancing pumpkin. All right, the first time you guys watch this movie, you're gonna be like, what the heck is this? It is just such a weird and odd movie, isn't it, Madison? Mm -hmm. But yet, the kids love it, and it's like, you just have to get it to watch it just to see like how, I don't even know how to explain it, how odd it is. Don't watch it? Why, is it scary? No, I don't like it, because you said the kids love it. I don't really like it that much. Really? <laughs> I liked it when I was like four. When you were like four? Yeah. Because we watched this movie like so many times, there's so many skips on it. Well, I don't know. My older children really liked it a lot. Madison only liked it when she was like four. <laughs> so now that she's like way older than four, <laughs> she's gonna be seven, you know, the dancing pumpkin isn't cutting it anymore. <laughs> but actually our next movie is one that Madison really loves. And that is witch. the worst witch. The worst witch, <laughs> it's kind of like Harry Potter-ish in a way, but really um, old school. <laughs> and it's a really cute story about a little girl who goes to wizarding school. And um, it's just really a lot of fun. I love it because Tim Curry is in it. And um, you probably know him from some um, other movies, and uh, he does a really great job in this children's movie. And then... Okay, so now we're moving on to... The, all of the following movies are Tim Burton, and I love Tim Burton. Like, to me, he is just the master of Halloween and scary movies and keeping things nice and creepy, and I just, I love everything he does, so I have a lot of his movies here. And these are more for um, maybe a little bit older children, like, like you know, me. Madison's age and up. Okay, so we have The, the Corpse Bride, Bride. and um, this is starring Johnny Depp. He does an amazing job portraying um, Victor in this, and it's about an arranged marriage and um, the groom kind of gets himself into a little bit of a predicament and finds himself with a bride who is dead and she brings him into her underworld, into the world where people go when they die. And it's definitely creepy, but in a wonderful and great way and we really, really like this one. Okay, I have um, two other relatively new ones and that is Frank and Weenie, also Tim Burton, and Paranorman. And they're both really, really great movies. Um, I don't want to give too much of a description of every single one of these movies or this video will be like an hour long, but um, it just has the same, you know, Tim Burton feel to it. And again, just creepy enough, enough to scare kids a little bit, but not to really traumatize them where they can't go to bed at night. So I really like both of these. Okay, now we're down to like, we're still like children that are maybe, I'm just going by my own children. You really have to decipher what's best for your kids. Some kids can handle this stuff, others not so much. Um, the, all of these movies that I've discussed so far, um, you know, starting from a younger age, going from toddler years, probably up until middle school years. So my absolute favorite Halloween movies um, by Tim Burton are The Nightmare Before Christmas and Coraline. I love both of these movies so much. These are movies that, Coraline is like my rainy day movie. Whenever it's raining out or there's a thunderstorm and we're having kind of a lazy day, which doesn't happen very often, but when it does, this is my go-to movie. I love watching Coraline. I love the music in it. For some reason, it's like haunting and beautiful background music and it kind of brings you in, it draws you in. You feel like you're there in a way, and that's funny because it is like a cartoon, um, but really, really great animation and a wonderful story. And, um, <laughs> you know, me and my daughter have this like ongoing joke. So basically Coraline is, um, she moves into a new home and discovers like another world, let's say and she has another mother, and the other mother appears to be perfect in every way. So whenever I'm having like a good mom day, <laughs> my daughter, I'm gonna be like, oh, are you the other mother? <laughs> so, yeah. 
I'm going to. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, the Nightmare Before Christmas. I will watch this at Christmas time. I will watch this at Halloween time. It's really great. I love Jack Skellington, who is the main character. And he is, there's two towns, if you're not familiar with the movie, there's Halloween Town and Christmas Town. And obviously Jack Skellington is from Halloween Town and he stumbles into Christmas Town and is just fascinated by it and all of the magic and wonders of Christmas. So um, what happens from there, you'll have to check out the movie to find out. Okay, so lots more favorites here. These are geared towards older children. Um, again, it depends on what your child can handle, but Hocus Pocus, one of the best Halloween movies I think ever created. Um, you know, my little one discovered this in preschool, and I know this is probably geared towards a, you know, an older crowd, but in preschool, she watched it repeatedly over and over again. She could not get enough of this movie. I think it's a great storyline. I actually went to Salem um, this past year, and I wish I was YouTubing them because I totally would have shared all that with you because it was so much fun. And we went to see um, where a lot of the houses were that were actually featured in the movie, and that was just really a fun and exciting thing to do. Hocus Pocus is about um, three witches, and they are kind of put to rest hundreds of years ago, and on this one Halloween night, they are magically brought back to life in modern day times. And it's a comedy, but it's scary. You'll laugh, you know, children may be a little bit frightened, but really, really comical and a great, great movie. So Goosebumps, I love all of the Goosebumps books. I love all of the Goosebumps um, little series of shows that they've had on TV by R.L. Stein. So this is just one of many that we own in our house. Um, this is the Goosebumps Scary House and Chillology. I think Scary House is really appropriate for Halloween. All of the Goosebumps shows are, if you can grab a whole bunch of, you know, just the different series of the Goosebumps shows and watch those with your kids, I think that they will uh, really enjoy those. These three are probably our favorites most recently, and that is Monsterville, Mostly Ghostly, and The Haunting Hour. Don't think about it. They're, all three of them are really, really great. The Spiderwick Chronicles, really cool. I love this movie, um, especially for older children. I don't think Madison has even seen this one yet because I think it might just be a little bit too much for her. I was actually scared a little bit in this one. But um, this is another great movie about a boy moving to a new town and there is some crazy stuff going on around him, in the woods around him. And, um, you know, I'm not going to give too many details of it, but definitely a great one to watch with older children. My all-time favorite children's book is Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter, so I cannot not mention to you the Harry Potter movies. Um, this is the very first one, which is my favorite, and I think it's appropriate for most age groups, and it's just really, really great to watch around Halloween time. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about Harry Potter, even though he's like my all-time um, favorite children's story, and I love the movies, but I'm sure, you know, a lot of people are already pretty familiar with the story of Harry Potter and his wizarding world. Okay, so I'm down to my final two, and I save these two for last only because I feel like they are geared towards like the oldest of your children. Um, even though, you know, young children can watch them, and again, your own discretion, you know your children, and you know what you would allow them to see or what they're capable of seeing without being too scared. But we have Ghostbusters, definitely a classic Halloween movie. Very comical, very fun. It's a great family movie, but again, um, you know, depending on the ages of your children. And finally, Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. It's a great, great movie. Um, it's really, really funny. Michael Keaton is hysterical in this, and it's just a great cast, and um, can't say enough about Beetlejuice. Love it. I think it's great, especially for older children. Not sure what age um, you think would be appropriate for this one, but I can say Madison has seen it. 
And I know there's some inappropriate parts, but um, we have two older kids and we do lots of movie nights. So when we're in that situation, we do a lot of eye covering and ear covering and we just get through the movie and we all enjoy it. And that is everything that I have to show you. There's one movie that I just need to mention, although I don't have it with me because we have it at our lake house because we recently watched it there, but that is Monster House. Um, really cool movie, two boys. Um, they're looking at their neighbor's house and kind of taking in everything that's happening over there and they know there's something completely off and they want to um, investigate and see exactly what it is and they find some pretty interesting and creepy stuff going on over there and it brings you through a whole series of events. Um, it's a little bit intense. I don't think it's really appropriate for younger children, even though it's a cartoon and you would think that it would be. Um, I think that it appears to be less scary than it actually is, but it's a really great, great movie. Okay, so that's everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, all the movies that I shared with you today. You should try to make a point to watch like one or two a week. If you do that with your family, if you put together a family night, like a family movie night once in a while, especially in the fall, gearing up for Halloween. These are some great movies to watch. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I have lots of Halloween related videos coming up. In October, I will be sharing with you weekly some ghost stories um, that took place in our house. So if you're new to my channel, I live in a very old Victorian home and there's some activity going on and some interesting stories that I would like to share with you. So I'm saving them all for October. Um, follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please let me know down below if I missed something. Let me know what your favorite kid-friendly Halloween movie is. Take care. Bye.